Hello, welcome to Straight Talk Africa, live from the Voice of America studios here in Washington. It's Wednesday, March 7th. I am Shaka Sali. Today, we'll have a report card of Kenya's coalition government and examine what the future holds for the East African nation. The coalition government that brought Kenya out of the post-election chaos and violence is now four years old and its final year. My colleague Paul Sisko has more on the accomplishments. The violence that rocked Kenya after the 2007 general election claimed about 1,300 lives. The political crisis ended with the National Accord brokered by Kofi Annan and signed February 28, 2008 by President Mwai Kabaki of the government's Party of National Unity and Prime Minister Raila Odinga of the Orange Democratic Movement. Four years later, Anan, now the UN's envoy to Syria seeking peace there, reminded Kenyans that much still remains to be done to heal the nation and bring it cohesion. The most important achievement of the unity government is the passing of a new constitution in August 2010. The process of review had taken many years, but the Constitution's popular support has prevented Kenya's leaders from molding the document to their advantage. Full implementation of the Constitution is still in progress. Elections should take place next December. With four years of unity government stability, Kenya has achieved significant infrastructure development, but not land reform or justice for post-election victims. And the unity government has done little about a notoriously abusive police force and nationwide corruption. On the positive side, analysts say institutional renewal, especially at the judiciary, provides Kenyans with hope for a better tomorrow. At the International Criminal Court at The Hague, the case of four prominent Kenyans indicted for their role in the bloody aftermath of the 2007 presidential elections is being appealed. Yuhuru Kenyatta recently resigned as finance minister but remains deputy prime minister in the unity government. He is also the leader of the Kenya African National Union and may run for president under the Party of National Unity Alliance Party at year's end. Francis Matura gave up his role as head of public service and secretary to the cabinet. Both men were under intense public pressure to leave the unity government while under indictment. Identify yourself to the chamber. My name's uh, William Kipchichir Samoe Ruto. The political ambitions of former education minister, Mr. William Ruto, also charged with inciting post-election violence, has been called into question too. Paul Sisko, VOA News.